Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. Wow. <coughs> hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm... Where is my voice today? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Accidental Beauty. If you're new, welcome. My name is Laura. I'm a self-taught makeup enthusiast who absolutely loves color, but today we're going a bit more monochrome. And that is because I'm going to be talking about the Everlasting Lip Liner and Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Cat. Because I'm going to be talking about a black lipstick and black lip liner from KVD Beauty. So if you guys want to see my first impressions and review, then please keep on watching. Uh, so this is very clearly old packaging, which is great and makes me feel very uncomfortable. If you guys are unfamiliar with why KVD Beauty or Kat Von D as the brand used to be called is problematic, then I recommend that you Google it. TLDR, she used to own the company and now she has no involvement, but uh, there is evidence to suggest that Kat Von D is racist, she is anti-Semitic, and there is evidence that she is an anti-vaxxer. And I don't support any of that. Okay, the only thing that I've tried from her brand is her foundation, the uh, Locket foundation, and I really liked it. I bought it before I found out anything negative about her, and then I was just like, okay, well, this is a really expensive foundation, so I'll just use it up, and then I won't buy anything from her. And then uh, she left the company, and I felt more comfortable supporting the brand because she has nothing to do with it. What's unfortunate and kind of a shame is her brand was probably the most accessible like alternative or goth makeup brand because you could get it in Sephora. Now you can get it in Ulta. I don't know if it was available in Ulta before. And it was probably the biggest brand as far as like recognition, popularity. I wanted to try her brand and uh, didn't feel comfortable supporting her. So I ended up kind of going a little bit more like basic with my makeup for a bit and then slowly went back into more like edgy alternative looks. As someone who like dabbles in a lot of kind of like gothy, edgy, punk makeup looks, I've never actually worn black lipstick before, so this is gonna be really fun. I've always wanted to try black lipstick, and I think what really stopped me was not a lot of brands have black lipstick, or at least like that are accessible in stores um, before I started doing most of my makeup shopping online. Like at the time when I was just starting to get into makeup, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to spend the money on something that I wasn't sure if I was really gonna wear outside of like, you know, Halloween or Instagram. So I never ended up buying it. Anyways, I'll show you what the packaging looks like. It's still the old packaging. Yeah, so as you can see, it still has her name on it and I'm not thrilled about that. So I wonder if this is actually, if it does have her name on it, I wonder how old these products are. I feel like she left the company about a year ago at least. So the fact that this is still an old packaging kind of concerns me a little bit. I'm hoping that it's like a newer product and they just put it in old packaging as they're getting rid of old packaging. I don't know. Okay, so let's just open this up. So I got the lip liner as well as the lipstick. I was thinking of originally just getting the lipstick and then I figured black lipstick is very, very bold and you can see, kind of like red lipstick, you can see when you mess up. Like you need to be very crisp, very precise. Lip liner makes it easier, so I might as well pick that up. I don't like that it says her name also on here, so I guess this is old. Huh. Anyways, uh, this is in the shade Scully. A very nice sharp point. And then probably same thing with the lipstick. Also got nice little like little star motif in here. Anyways, this is the lipstick. Also says her name on here. Not thrilled about that. The packaging though is exquisite. Like that's okay. I'm going to just like rant about the company for a second and then we'll get into actually swatching. Kat Von D is a terrible person, but she is an excellent artist. And it's a shame that when she left the company, the sole, I think I mentioned this in, I think it was my best and worst of makeup video at the end of 2020. The soul of the company left also. Everything that they put out, even around the time that she left the company, everything that the brand put out just lacked that depth. 
And it just felt like they were kind of like, yeah, we're still around. We're just going to push out product and hope that people buy it. And it didn't seem like there was the same thought put into it. Whereas when she was still with the company, even though she's a terrible person and I don't condone anything that she's done, the packaging, the color story, everything had so much thought put into it. She like hand illustrated all of the packaging, the like the palette art, everything. And that's what's missing from the brand right now. Like I just wish that when she left, they replaced her with another artist of kind of equal or comparable skill. And it's a shame that they didn't. All right, so time to swatch because I'm very excited to try these on. Oh, by the way, the lipstick is in the shade Witches and it's like always sold out everywhere. So I'm so glad that I got my hands on it. I was planning to order from the KVD website because it was out of stock on Sephora's website for like ages. And then, and it was actually, it's really annoying. It was on sale and then it immediately sold out and then it came back, but it was full price. So that was kind of annoying. And I ended up paying full price for it, but you know what? It, again, it's like the easiest black lipstick that I was able to get my hands on. It has pretty solid reviews, although I will say that some people find it really drying, but other people find Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks very drying, and I find they're like not super drying, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm hoping that it's kind of like a similar formula to the Kylie ones because I find those ones are super, super long lasting. Hopefully if I remember, I'll, I'll include a clip at the end where I try this out with food or something just to see how it wears throughout the day. All right, that's about as zoomed as I can make it. Oh, and by the way, as always, um, all the makeup and like wig details will be in the description box below. I always include that in every video. So check there if you have any questions. All right, so let's try out the lip liner. Okay, it's a very, very fine point and glides on really, really easily. It's very soft. It's not too creamy, but it glides on really easily. Like it's not dragging or anything. And now it's like, it's not as sharp anymore, which is the sad thing about using lip liners like this. I was planning to wear this all day and I was eating or just, you know, wearing it all day. I would fill my lips completely in with lip liner. It's a tip that Kylie Jenner popularized with her brand and I find it actually really helps your lipstick stay on all day because it's like a double layer, especially if the lip liner is kind of like a waxier formula. It just lasts better through food. I'm not gonna do this right now because I'm only gonna be filming for like maybe an hour or two, but that is what I would normally do. Okay, let's try out this lipstick. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's what, it's like a nice doe foot. It doesn't have a smell. I thought these ones were scented, but maybe not. It's just kind of like a chemically smell, like a makeup smell. That dried down pretty quickly. I'm very impressed. The color looks very opaque. I probably could have done like maybe a slightly thicker layer on the bottom. Like I can kind of see my lips through like a little bit. I'm just kind of being critical. If normally if I was wearing this, I would put a layer of lip liner down first. So I don't think that would be a problem. But I mean, from far away, you can't really tell. Not too much. I'm so happy. This is like, ah. Uh, I have waited an embarrassingly long time to wear black lipstick. Uh, and now my dreams are achieved. <laughs> this looks so good. I am so happy. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's like barely transferred. Oh, here, I'll just zoom in. I don't know if you can even see. It transferred like the tiniest bit. So really, really not concerning at all. It's very, very comfortable to wear. I don't know why people have an issue with it. It's a thinner feeling formula than a lot of other liquid lipsticks that I've tried. Like I can feel it on, but it doesn't feel heavy. Like something like an ABH or even a Kylie, those formulas feel a bit heavier. And this feels pretty light. Uh, it's very comfortable, very, very flattering. I'm very, very happy with my purchase.
does seem a little bit sheer, although the top lip looks, looks fine. So maybe I just didn't apply enough. Hold on, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. You know what, I think I just didn't apply enough before. Okay, so I just, while I was waiting for that to dry, I just Googled to see if these lipsticks are supposed to be scented, and apparently they're not. So it is supposed to smell chemically. So that makes me a lot more comfortable, a lot less uneasy, because I thought maybe these had gone bad or something, because it kind of smells like when lipstick or like any makeup starts to go bad and it kind of has that like, that funny smell, like kind of like paint. Um, and it's supposed to, so that makes me feel better. All right, so it is another day in the future, months from when I filmed that other content actually, and uh, I finally got the chance to sit down and actually test out this lipstick with food and stuff, just cause like sometimes when I film, it's like at the end of the day, which actually it is at the end of the day now, or like I'm, I've got plans after whatever. So anyways, I've got time, I'm gonna do it. So first off, let's do the drink test. So I got some water here. All right, so I'm gonna just take a sip from this clean side. Okay, so we have like, like the tiniest amount. It won't even show up on camera probably like a tiny, tiny, minuscule, like three flakes came off, but otherwise looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go and have something to eat, something maybe a little, with a little bit of like oil in it. And I'm gonna come back and show you how my lips look when I'm done. So hold on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. I had a little bit of something to eat, so. Let's, let's take a look. Got a little bit wearing away on the inside. I haven't even wiped my lips cause I just wanted to show you like what it actually looks like. It feels like there's like a bit of oil on here and it's gonna start wearing away. If I ate something that was more, more oily like pizza or something, I imagine that more would wear away. And I am wearing like a layer of lip liner underneath the black lip liner from KVD just to get that extra layer of protection. So it actually held up pretty well. Um, but again, I didn't have something like super greasy greasy. I had like some beef and broccoli, like Asian style beef and broccoli. So there is like some oil, but it's not, it's not super oily. I'm trying to think like, I don't even, I don't even have anything super oily right now, but that is not helping this video. So I guess like I wanted to have something kind of like, like baseline sort of normal, normal food, like not super greasy, not super dry, just kind of average. And it actually, it actually held up pretty well. Again, as I mentioned, there's that bit that's wearing away in the center. And I imagine, you know, if I was eating possibly more food or definitely more oily food, I might have to touch up a bit. Uh, but yeah, it actually held up pretty well. So I am impressed. Well done, KVD. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this color more. Just you wait. I am so excited because this is so pretty. I'm gonna give both of these a solid five out of five. I love both of them. Can't wait to wear them some more. Can't wait to wear them on photo shoots. So don't forget to follow me on my other social media to see photos of that. And I just feel like a gothic queen and I'm just so happy. I'm just gonna add in here, also just really impressed with how the product held up with food and drink. Not all products hold up that well. So yeah, I, I quite like this. It is maybe a little bit of a drying formula. I know some people really don't like that, but I find in general, the more drying the formula, the more long lasting it is. So I personally would rather have a formula that's a bit more drying, but will last me all day and I don't have to touch up versus something that might be more creamy, more emollient on the lips, but then it doesn't last for more than like an hour. So that's just me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section below if you wanna see more kind of like 
gothic, edgier makeup looks. Because I feel like I do more of that on my Instagram and I don't really, it doesn't really translate to YouTube. I feel like I kind of do like, even though I do really bold looks, they're still like relatively like safe, I guess. And I really do want to branch out into like kind of edgier and more like darker makeup, I guess, like spookier makeup. I don't know. Because uh, I've seen I follow a bunch of, I guess like you'd call them, you know, goth makeup artists and enthusiasts on Instagram and they just do the most incredible wing liner and I'd love to practice that and do more looks like that. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more stuff like that on this channel. If you like the type of looks that I do here on my channel and you want to see more, as I mentioned, I'd love it if you could follow me on my other social media accounts. That would just really, really help me out and just grow my presence across multiple platforms so that, you know, I can continue to create more content and maybe one day get paid for it. And if you like the type of content that I do here on my channel and you want to see more, I'd love it if you could subscribe. That is about all I have to say. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.